Andrew McGahan for the MacLife.com here, standing alongside Tom Duke and Watt, the UFC Media Day. Tom, how are you? Um, as someone who is lucky enough to see virtually most of your Bama fights in Europe, uh, you fought in Ireland quite a lot. Irish fans are very receptive to you. Um, are you happy to be back fighting in Europe after maybe signing with the UFC and experiencing fighting in the States? Yeah, huge pleasure. A huge pleasure because uh, this, this land has been receiving me so well since uh, the beginning of my career. And uh, it's, uh, if I can put on a show on Saturday night, it's going to be uh, the way for me to thank them for all the respect and the support since uh, the very beginning. Why did you do this camp in France instead of going back over to Jackson's? Was it a time thing, a money thing, uh, just a location pr preference? No, the, the fight has been announced one month and a half ago and I was uh, in Paris training. So uh, just as a matter of fact, I just wanted to, to, to stay in Paris, so do a camp in Paris. A lot of people speculated when you would uh, move to Jackson's that, or when you, while you were training with them, that working with Brandon Gibson in particular was going to bring your striking game on. Essentially, did you know that? Notice that in your last couple of camps training there, and you've been able to implement it now back at home in Paris. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been improving a lot of things in, in my in my style uh, at Jackson, and uh, during the last camp that was in Paris, uh, that was the occasion to focus on other all other areas of the fight. You obviously know that uh, in France we have a high level in, uh, in striking, Muay Thai, Savari, boxing, and that's the areas where I've been uh, focusing. But judo is huge in France as well, isn't it? Judo is one of the biggest sports over there. I think it's the third biggest sport in the country. It is the fourth biggest sport, the first uh, uh, martial arts wise. And uh, yeah, because I've been uh, creating a total new method, new camp. Uh, taking uh, everything that works so far and uh, adding new things to sublimate it. Without wanting to give away any sort of tactics for the weekend, when you hear a fighter talk about changes in his training, they feel re-energized. Do you feel that way going into this fight that maybe things had gotten a little stale, that you were always doing the same thing, maybe always uh, sparring with the same people, doing the same combinations. Have you have you felt that your striking area in particular has expanded in this time off? Well, when you when you, um, I'm always trying to, to be creative and uh, to work even more, more the fight goes. Uh, but this time, uh, specifically, I've been uh, been working a lot on the harder, you know, um, on the mental aspect and uh, physical aspect as well. So. We're going to see the, the results soon. Two things. Are we going to see the splits in the octagon this weekend? Hopefully. And finally, why do you follow nobody on Instagram? It's been years. I, I want to focus just on the, my career. And, uh, and that's it. Yeah, but I have my, my own distractions. But that's not on the social media. But uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still looking though uh, on Instagram. What, well, what are the, what are, what's, what's, what is on Instagram? But you're, you're still looking, but you're not following. Yeah, exactly. Tom, thank you very much.